Yeah, good morning everyone. Myself uh, Kanna Babu. I am a .NET trainer come SQL Server trainer. Today we will discuss about how to take the backup of the database in our SQL Server. So first of all I will try to open what I will go to start. There you can see SQL Server Management Studio. And open your SQL Server Management Studio. Here I am using SQL Server 2008. Here I will select the server type is database engine. The server name is kanna-pc. That is my system name. Here even you can mention your IP address or simply local or dot. I am connecting to SQL Server database using SQL Server authentication. Here the username I have given is SCA. The password is ABC. So click on connect button. Now I have successfully logged into my SQL Server database and uh, here when you try to expand your databases column i want to create one data i want to create one database here right click on the databases new database here i want to create one database something like products info something like the database name i'm giving as products info click on ok button now i have successfully created one database with the name products info and within this database i want to create some tables right click on tables new table there here i will try to create one table with columns product id the data type i will give as int and here i will give product name data type i will give as var care just save the table as products table click on ok so here you can observe that one table is created with name products and I want to create one more table right click on the tables new table here I will create one table with two columns one is order ID data type is int and the other one is order name data type is where care just save the table as orders so if you observe clearly under my products info database there are two tables that are available one is products table and the other one is orders table now I want to take the backup of this database so that you can restore the database instead of even you can insert the data in the table also it doesn't matter so how to take the backup of the database simply right click on the database and go to tasks there you can see backup just click on backup the database will be stored in C drive program files microsoft sql server ms sql 10 point ms sql server there you can see on directory with name ms sql within that you can see backup there your database will be stored the name of products info dot bak the extension of the database is dot bak file just click on ok so automatically the backup of the database products info completed successfully you will get one message click on ok button if you want to check your database whether it is created or not just go to my computer there you can go to c drive there you can find program files below that you can find microsoft sql server there you can find ms sql 10 point ms sql server here you can find sorry here you can find ms sql 10 point SQL Express below that you can find MS SQL there you can find backup just click on continue there you can find here on backup I have created let us check once the products info right So here you can see the backup file is available under C drive program files Microsoft SQL server and MS SQL and there you can find what backup there you can find database level products info dot BAK file. Now what I will try to do here is I will try to delete this database right click delete click 
click on OK. Now here I want to again restore the database. So here you can see I have deleted the database. It is still executing. So here I have successfully deleted the database. My database name is what? Products info. Is it clear? Now again I want to create the database. Right click on databases, new database. The name of the database I will give as products info. Click on OK. So successfully I created the database. But when you observe here, there are no tables that are available in your database. So I want to restore the tables. I want to restore my database which was already I have taken the backup which is available in a specific folder. So how to restore? Right click on the database, tasks, restore database. Here you can select from device, select the ellipse button, click on add button. And here you can find two databases are available. I want to restore products info.bak. Just select that back file, click on OK. Click on OK. Check the checkbox. Select options. Check the checkbox. Overwrite the existing database with replace command. Click OK. Then here you can see it is showing one message saying that the restore of the database products info completed successfully okay now go to the tables and check this is how you can take the backup of the database and you can restore the database thank you for listening this video if you want to uh, want some more updates or anything regarding dotnet you can log into my group www.facebook.com slash groups slash world of dotnet Thank you. Have a nice day.